This is MB Now and here are your news on web. Gusto talaga ninyo? O oh, sige. Tatakbo ako ng Vice President. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte has made his first categorical statement that he will run for vice president next year at the Talk to the People past midnight of Wednesday to August 25. Duterte's admission of his desire to become vice president in the May 2022 elections was somewhat anticlimactic since at least two of PDP Laban party mates preempted his announcement on Tuesday. PDP Laban members earlier nominated Duterte as the party's vice presidential bet for the next year's polls. The chief executive didn't reject the idea outright. The 76-year-old Duterte is expected to formally accept PDP Laban's nomination during the party's national convention on September 8. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte asked President Duterte and Senator Christopher Bongo to just publicly admit their intention of running in tandem for 2022 elections, urging them to stop using her name as the reason for them running or not running. In a statement on Wednesday, Sara said that no less than the president himself confirmed to her that he would run for vice president and go as president. Sara also took a swipe at Senator Coco Pimentel and Ronald Musayak, executive director of the PDP Laban, for allegedly blaming her for the sad state of their now fractured political party. Sara said that she is not a last two minutes person. She thinks, she organizes, and she implement accordingly. In the meantime, she refused to be a political punching bag for a party in a complete disarray. Metro Manila's average daily coronavirus disease cases were only up by 13%, according to the latest report by the Okta Research released today, August 25. The group noted that the previous weekly growth rates were much higher at 54%, 46%, and 67%. While new cases are still increasing in Metro Manila, the decreasing growth rate has been consistent with a decreasing reproduction number. Okta said the reproduction number, which refers to the average number of secondary infections by each infected individual, has gone down to 1.53 from 1.78. However, the current reproduction number is still within the critical range. Okta said that ICU occupancy for COVID cases in Metro Manila was at a high level of 74%, while hospital bed utilization for COVID patients was at a moderate level of 67%. Kalaokan City has completed the distribution of the cash assistance or AYUDA to its constituents that were severely affected by the declaration of the Enhanced Community Quarantine or ECQ from August 6 to 20. Kalaokan City is the first LGU in Metro Manila to do so. Overall, Department of Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Año said 75% of the cash aid distribution has been distributed so far in the National Capital Region. On August 23, the day LG assured that the cash aid distribution in Metro Manila, Laguna, and Bataan will continue even with their shift to less restricted M. ECQ. The Ayuda distribution will be extended until August 31. U.S. President Joe Biden's approval rating has fallen to the lowest point in his seven-month presidency amid the rise in U.S. COVID-19 cases and the chaotic military withdrawal from Afghanistan according to a new poll by U.S. broadcaster NBC. The poll conducted from August 14 to 17 and released on Sunday found 49% of respondents approve of Biden's job performance, sliding below 50% for the first time while 48% disapprove. An NBC poll in April found 53% of Americans approve of Biden's job performance, while other polls last week also found Biden's approval rating slipping, with a CBS survey putting it at 50%, Ipsos at 46%, and YouGov at 44%. GN Crazy Texan Asuncion of Cagayan Province has backed out of the Miss Universe Philippines 2021 competition to rest and recover after she tested positive for COVID-19. Asuncion revealed her condition moments after she made it to the top 50 official candidates of the pageant. She thanked her fans for all the love and support that they have given her throughout all the pre-pageant activities and challenges. The Cagayan Province beauty consistently made it to the top 15 of all the Miss Universe Philippines challenges so far. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame drummer of Rolling Stones Charlie Watts has died. He was 80 years old. News of the death of Watts came pouring in in the early morning of Wednesday Manila time as music outlets and music artists' social media started to pay their tributes to the Rolling Stone drummer. In June 2004, Watts was diagnosed with throat cancer but had beat the disease and went into remission. 
bandmate and Rolling Stone guitarist Keith Richards posted a picture of Charlie Watts' drum riser on his Instagram as a tribute. Keith once called Charlie as the greatest backbeat in rock and roll. Para powerlifter Aishel Guillon was ruled out of the Tokyo Paralympics after testing positive for COVID-19. Guillon's coach Tony Tagibao also tested positive for the virus although both were asymptomatic. Philippine Paralympic Committee President Mike Barredo said in a statement that Guillon is deeply frustrated that she will not be able to compete especially getting much inspiration from Hidelin Diaz. But despite this development, the remaining Philippine Paralympic team remains optimistic in its goal to eclipse the country's best finish so far of bronze medal in the 2000 Sydney and 2016 Rio Games. Meet the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G, a premium and durable 5G device that can suit your entertainment and productivity needs. It also features an under-display camera that disappears when the screen wakes up. Find out more about the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G tonight on Tech Talk at 6pm at Tech News Online Facebook page. And those are the news on web. For more news and updates, follow our official social media pages or log on to www.mb.com.ph. Be fully informed.